absolute rubbish. I won't sell it. So, so this is the old one you used to get for the old years. This in here with the, with the yellow caps. These in here with the yellow caps. All these ones with the yellow caps are good. So they used to come in here. They used to come here on average, I would say average was probably about nine, ten years they yeah. used to come in. And then Sabbath took them over and they shut them down. They floated a new company called Powertech. Yeah. And you can see the label has been designed by the same person. They now yeah. tell you they're going to give you a 25 month guarantee. But yeah. personally, I've tried with a friend of mine's battery. I got messed around for over two months. And yeah. eventually, I went to the Consumer Council and finally got a, a battery out through them. There were some years ago, but I'm, I'm not tempted to go back. So, Willow is not the same company it used to be? There's no more Willow battery company, Para Industria. It's now made in the along with the Sabbath battery. They put in, I reckon they put one week they put in because they've got the same battery ratings on the top as well. Yeah. So I think they just make one one basic battery and they stick a red top on or green top on depending what the demand is. And this ray light got 11 and a half years. It's nearly 11 and a half years. Um, look at the battery was being used on a regular basis. Um, regular use is how you get life out of batteries. Uh, this guy was traveling six days a week, he was traveling from Fishhook to Stellenbosch. So the battery you had never, never had any lead sulfate in the, in the mix. Everything was a charged battery, it's got your sulfuric acid, your lead, your lead dioxide. The flat battery's got lead sulfate in water, which will take the energy away. And then while the sulfate is still in solution, when you put energy back in, either through my charger or through your alternator, it'll make turn it back into your charged battery again. So that's all you're doing inside the battery. The problem though is that it's the sulfate uh, with the, uh, the HSO4 and the H+. It's the HSO4 ions that carry current. So if the battery is very really flat, the is in the form of the sulfate, you're not going to get uh, you're not going to get much current flowing through the battery because the resistance will be too high. You just heat the battery up instead of charging the battery. Exactly. So that's what happens with batteries. <laughs> That's why we've got to look off them and if, remember if your battery's ever going to stand longer than two weeks, yeah. when you park the car, take off your negative connection. Exactly. If you know it's going to stand longer than two months, phone somebody and say, I need somebody to look off this battery. Otherwise, the acid will sink to the bottom. If it's not an AGM battery or a gel battery, as it sinks to the bottom, it devours the plates, crystallizes, pushes the battery plates together, short circuits, as well as the piece you need to get the oxide acid. Exactly.